All right, I'm back. So, updates, updates. It's been four months into my sabbatical. Really enjoying it. Yeah, even today, right? I'm just taking B-roll and things like that for my next video. With each big video, it takes a while to actually film behind the scenes and I'm actually only less than halfway done, but it's really fun. And when it comes to editing, it takes a while. So I try to do like once a week, but man, it's tough. I think doing these kind of updates are supposed to be a bit of a lower lift, but maybe not since this is the third time I'm actually doing this and trying to record it. So everything sounds nice, I hope. So a couple of really interesting stuff that's been happening in the past few weeks. If you all recall, I actually have this podcast called Creator in Progress and it hasn't launched yet, right? So the backstory behind that is that I actually pitched this podcast to Scape, which is like a youth organization in Singapore and great news they actually approved it to be able to share these conversations with all of you I'm really excited selfishly of course it's for me to learn also but I think a lot of people out there with very fascinating stories that we could all learn about and I think with that comes the other part of it which is I'm hiring people to be a part of a team with me of course it used to always be me doing everything from end to end right but looking at my schedule I don't think it's possible for me to actually execute all this on my own so I'm actually hiring a digital marketing manager and a video podcast editor to help out and it's a new experience it's exciting of course I've always hired for people in the past right with with my previous job interviewing and things like that but it's very different when you're hiring for yourself I get to like build my own team culture work with different people and yeah the other day I sat down and I wrote an entire job description thinking a little about compensation work styles and things like that all in all a very exciting sort of endeavor and I do count it as a win also in terms of pitching this and kind of getting that that budget to do this so thank you skate for believing in me and yeah we're gonna make this podcast rock another win is that i've actually passed 4,000 youtube subscribers so thank you so much everyone for your support for liking the videos for commenting it really means a lot to me sometimes it's not really about the views and all that but even if just one person comments it means a lot like a simple gesture like that helps encourage a lot of us so thank you i really really appreciate it another interesting thing is that i'm actually interviewing for a role i know it's kind of opposite of what i said i would do right um again i i i feel like sometimes i'm in a mess because i'm like oh, okay i want to take a sabbatical i want to do this full time but then of course on the financial side of things i just see the money going like right so i'm like okay how do i actually balance it out so I did go and look for kind of like a freelance kind of job. In all honesty, I don't know whether it will go through or not. I think, you know, I was just like, let me just try it for experience. Um, if I get it, then great. If I don't, then it's okay as well, right? And I'll continue to do this. But um, I think I'll kind of like figure out as I go along how else I can sustain my lifestyle. I think with this opportunity, I'll get to learn a lot also, which is what I'm really looking forward to. But again early days so let's see what comes out of it once the opportunity comes and i'll cross that bridge once i get there but obviously all of you will have an update in the next vlog what do i call this thing jamie's journals okay okay i keep calling it jamie's vlogs right but it's jamie's journals i mean it's like j and j okay <laughs> anyway so one important thing that i have learned since the past video right i've had this mental model of incorporating trial and error in my life which I guess I have already been doing like even what I'm doing now with this new job right is kind of like pivoting careers right it's, it's trial and error basically I'm just gonna try it if it doesn't work out then fine but if it works out great right so I think applying that mental model to everything you do for me it's been very liberating because then I find that I'm not so hard on myself once I I start to learn something and I make a mistake and it goes back to the point where I kind of discover what I like and what I don't like as well so I think all, all that jumbled up together this trial and error mindset has really sort of helped me be better to myself like just nicer to myself in general I feel like a lot of people are too hard on themselves and yeah just just having this thing going through my mind 
has helped me a fair bit. I'm gonna try to do more manifest manifestation? Manifesting? Um uh, not. Um I always thought it was very like woo woo kind of thing, right? But then, you know, again with the trial and error mindset, like the more I think about it, the more I'm like, why not? Let's just try it, right? What harm is there? Anyway with the law of attraction, if you try to attract positive things, positive things should come to you also. But I also believe obviously it comes with hard work, right? So I think good things will kind of come your way. It's like a serenip- serendipity. Serendipity? Serendipity. Sweet serendipity. Serendipity. <laughs> okay. I don't want to keep these updates short and sweet, but I feel like I always end up rambling anyway. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. That being said, I will leave you all be and I will catch you all in the next video. Please take care of yourselves. I think there's like a COVID bug thingy going around and whatnot. Yeah, just don't fall sick because falling sick sucks. Take care and... Bye-bye.